Hello my friends, welcome to Pinus Hotel Photography. As you all know, uh, in this channel, I usually discuss about the photography and about the uh, traveling sites and uh, traveling blogs and uh, different photography gears, cameras. And if you are passionate about photography and also traveling, uh, you are in the right place. In this episode, I am going to discuss about 10 unique features of Canon EOS M50 camera. Uh, as you know, this is a new uh, Canon EOS camera, mirrorless camera that has been launched recently in India. Though it was launched earlier in abroad, but uh, recently it was launched in India and I have bought one and I am using this camera extensively and uh, previously i have also posted uh, some uh, reviews especially the video capability reviews if you want to see that uh, review you can click the link or you can go to my uh, channel and search for the video and in this episode i will specifically discuss about the 10 unique features that this uh, us m camera has and in other models of you know you other models canon has a lineup of us m series camera starting from us m5 m6 m100 and previously m3 camera but those cameras are i will not tell faulty but those cameras had some limitations and it was not uh, capable enough like a dslr camera but in this camera i will tell some features that can compete with any dslr camera and it has also uh, a crop sensor that is aps-c sensor uh, that canon uses in recent modern cameras like canon 80d uh, or other cameras and that too has also digic 8 processor and that is really very useful and that camera will give you a nice picture a good color and contrast also and i have used it i am enjoying it now coming to the features that i am going to discuss in detail first uh, unique feature is touch screen as you know for quite some time canon is using uh, touch screen uh, for uh, DSLR cameras whereas other uh, competitors like Nikon or others are not using touch screen specifically in the beginners camera or enthusiast camera so this camera has a touch screen which is very bright and it has a very good resolution and you can use it while taking photo composing photo though this ha this camera has a EVF electronic viewfinder inbuilt so this is a unique feature of this camera and you can set all the camera uh, settings by touching the screen uh, you don't have to go to the buttons uh, to press the buttons to set different aspects of uh, settings you can directly set from this screen so this is a very unique feature and i think uh, this is uh, this gives a edge to this camera over other uh, mirrorless cameras so here it is uh, this is canon m50 us m50 camera and this is attached to the kit lens that is uh, 15 to 45 mm and you, as you can see this is the screen swiveling screen this is the swiveling screen and you can rotate it like this and also this way you can rotate it and this screen is a touch screen as you can see I can touch it to focus 
and these are the settings that I can change from here this is the ISO as you can see now it is set to auto you can change it to 100 200 anything you would like and also then you can this is now auto now this is uh, satisfied you can change it to anything you like starting from here you see <coughs> one by four second one over eight second one over 15 second and we can increase the satisfied also because uh, And we can go back by touching this screen also and this is the aperture that can also be changed from this screen that's beautiful set it to maximum aperture no <coughs> now see this is a quick menu you can go to the menus and you can change all the settings you like whatever you like you can change beat the focus that is the AI survey face tracking and this is the zone focus this is the single single area autofocus as you can see and these are the other settings also there are this is the exposure metering that can be changed to evaluative metering, parcel metering and spot metering also. Uh, in this case, uh, I will go for the parcel metering. Now you can see that small duck. Now if I want to take the photo of this duck just I have to focus here and if I want to activate the touch setter this this thing touch setter enabled now I can touch to take nice photo see this is very nice now going back to the previous screen That's it. <clears throat> now what was I was telling that this is the touch screen that's, that can be used for focusing and also taking snaps. Anywhere you tap, anywhere you tap after activating the touch setter then it will take photo. Now that's it. Now uh, coming to the seven, second point, uh, second unique feature that is a touch starter. You know most of the other company uh, has touch screen uh, in those uh, mirrorless cameras but uh, none can give you, no one has provided you a touch starter capability. This gives uh, instantaneous uh, shutter mechanism. You are seeing the scene in the uh, uh, LCD screen and you touch that area and that is recorded. And that is just uh, amazing feature. And you can use it very well. Those uh, who don't, go, don't want to go into the complexities of the camera they can just uh, see the uh, scene in the um, LCD screen and touch, touch, touch the screen or touch the area they want to focus and record it, capture it 
uh, i think this is very good feature from canon good addition <coughs> and now coming to the uh, third unique feature that is a swiveling screen as you know previous uh, mirrorless lineup those cameras didn't have uh, swiveling screen it was uh, either fixed or maximum it could go up or downwards but this camera has 360 degree uh, swiveling screen and that is just awesome you can use it uh, in any position you like even you can take selfie with this screen and uh, record video it will be also useful for recording use uh, youtube videos so th this is a uh, welcome feature and <coughs> now coming to the fourth point this camera also has uh, 4k capability this is the first beginners camera that canon came up with a 4k capability next was uh, canon 200d plus or 300d elsewhere it is called 300d uh, that was launched recently after the canon us m50 camera so canon us m50 camera is the first beginners camera that canon came up with 4k feature you know recently nowadays there is a 4k video is gaining popularity among the youtubers and also the viewers and uh, this gives excellent a picture quality and resolution you can use it for youtube videos and also your uh, personal videos recording personal moments and also for travel photography it's just uh, amazing feature i think and this is a welcome addition um, from canon company now you see that there is a dedicated video recording button here this red button you can press to start recording and also you can set this shutter button to start recording video whenever you press this button that can also be used and there is another dedicated video mode here if you rotate this dial from still to this movie button there comes a lot of options for you <coughs> you can record both auto video mode and also manually and there is a quick menu option as you can see this is the movie recording size this is the 4k option as you can see this is the 4k option and this is the full hd option I'll show you this is a 50p full hd option and also there are other options see this is the full hd 20f 5p uh, this is the full hd 50p and this is the hd only hd 50p so these are the options you can use and the great thing is that it has the 4k capability this is the 4k though you cannot use the dual pixel autofocus still there is some functionality you can record <coughs> 4k video if you enable this you can record 4k video there is a crop, crop factor of 1.6 uh, above this crop sensor so it will be cropped again so the dark is very close to me closer but you can record this 4k video that's it now going back to full hd video 25p okay and now coming to the fifth point or fifth unique feature this uh, canon camera comes with a 3.5 uh, mm audio input audio input on the side of the camera that is very important aspect if you are a youtuber you record uh, video for your youtube channel then this is a very uh, welcome feature previous models uh, 
uh, had uh, this jack in some position that was either obstructing the view or was difficult uh, to record video and in this camera there is swiveling screen uh, that comes from the side and also the input jack is also on the side so there is no problem at all i'm not facing any problem while recording any video in fact uh, i'm recording this video now in canon eos m50 now friends now i want to show you the microphone jack input this is the area where you can find the microphone input jack and this is 3.5 mm and see this position of jack is excellent position it will not obstruct your swiveling skin in any way uh, only thing is uh, you cannot put this in use and then rotate so you have to rotate and then you can use it you can open it and put a 3.5 mm jack and put one external microphone here over the offer shoe like road video micro pro or anything you like and then you can record from external microphone and that is a great addition to this camera so that's it so now coming to the sixth point this camera has eye focus capability so what does this mean this means that nowadays cameras the modern cameras are coming with a eye detect autofocus so whenever you take photographs of someone some person or take portrait you don't have to worry about the eyes coming not coming sir in the picture see it will automatically detect the eye of the uh, subject and ensure that it is in focus so the picture will be tax sir so this is a very modern feature most of the modern cameras are coming with it even the higher end cameras are coming with this feature and you can have this feature in just a beginner's camera canon is saying this camera uh, is a beginner's camera so uh, this is just uh, a very good feature from canon uh, i am surprised that canon has introduced this feature in this camera now coming to the seventh unique feature that camera has as i already told you that it has a touch uh, sensitive screen lcd screen that screen you can use as, as a touch pad to focus anywhere in the scene so uh, that is just amazing while seeing through the viewfinder you can touch anywhere in the touch pad and camera will focus in that area uh, that's just astonishing so you can use it uh, during uh, shooting through the viewfinder if you are looking through the viewfinder you can touch any area of the touch pad and can uh, camera will focus in that area so this is the seventh point now coming to the eighth point there is focus peaking also uh, previously we used to complain many uh, experts also used to uh, complain that there is no focus peaking in the canon or uh, uh, nikon cameras and focus peaking is a very good feature especially for those who usually focus manually for taking photographs and it is a very useful feature how it works uh, you can you can uh, uh, engage any color or you can set any color so you whenever you focus manually so you will see that color the focused area the area in focus will be colored and other areas will not be colored so you can precisely see which area is in focus so that is a very helpful feature very helpful feature i think and uh, that is 
that will go a long way in helping you focus manually now when to i want to show you the in interesting feature of focus speaking uh, for focus speaking to activate so you go to the any mode starting from manual mode aperture or set a priority mode and then press the menu button now from here you can see there is uh, in the sub menu of 7 number 7 there is ms mf picking setting and you can touch it to set it so see this is the picking i have set to on and you can set the level also high low and this is the color there are three colors red yellow blue anything you can set so that the focus area will take the color either yellow blue or red so in this case uh, <coughs> i am taking blue color so whenever it is in focus it will turn into blue the marginal turn into now i have to rotate this focus ring to focus manually so how can you start manually focusing there is one one button here and you can press to change from auto focus to manual focus and uh, now if you focus from here now you rotate i'm rotating and now the camera will focus and i don't know whether you can see now i have to press the shutter button and now voila the picture is taken and it is showing that it is in focus you see the picture the duck is in focus so that is a very interesting feature that canon has added this focus picking feature was long due so this is a very useful feature for manual focusing anything you like so that's all. Now <coughs> coming to the ninth feature. As we all know that Canon uh, DSLR cameras, especially uh, 70D, 80D, uh, which is very popular amongst the YouTubers, that camera has dual pixel autofocus, and everyone was uh, everyone was curious whether Canon will introduce uh, dual pixel autofocus in the mirrorless lineup and yes Canon has come up with Canon US M50 with this dual pixel autofocus feature and uh, this is you know uh, excellent um, if you move focus from your face to other areas there will be smooth transition there will be no hunting of the focus so this is a uh, very good feature I think uh, this dual pixel autofocus so friends now I will show you the utility of dual pixel autofocus uh, now you can see two toys in some distance the nearer toys that is yellow and orange in color that lies in front of the camera and another soft toy TD bear is behind so if I try to focus with this camera, this Canon US MPP, I have to just uh, tap the area that I want to focus. If I want to focus this one, you see this is in focus and the teddy bear is out of focus. Just tap this one and take picture and done. The behind subject is out of focus and how to see see this is in focus this is tax up and the teddy view is out of focus and no problem and if you want to focus in the we are just tap over that area and that is again in focus I'm taking picture now see I'll 
show you the teddy bear is stacked is stacked but this toy is not out of focus <clears throat> so now i will show you the effects of dual pixel auto focus uh, in the video while recording video you can use dual pixel auto focus for focus pulling so i have kept one uh, toy in front of the camera and another water bottle behind so i will show you how dual pixel auto focus is effective now in this camera you can see the both bottle water bottle and the toy i am tapping on the toy the bottle is now out of focus you can see very well bottle is now out of focus and again i tap over the bottle and there is instantly it focuses on the water bottle and this toy is out of focus now this like a blurred and this effect will be prominent if you use a prime lens with uh, maximum aperture uh, large maximum aperture uh, because this is a kit lens the effect is not so much pronounced but if you use, use uh, prime lens then you will see the effects in a great way now see again i am focus pulling this this toy is now in uh, focus it is stacked and the background is now blurred and there is soft creamy background the fruit basket uh, this is now in focus now i am tapping on the bottle and you can clearly read the uh, bottle label is written you can see so this is in effect the dual pixel auto focus <clears throat> i saw in some youtubers has commented that this is slow i don't don't find uh, the auto focus to be slow uh, the transition is uh, very effective good and it looks cinematic i don't feel it is uh, slow that's it and next coming to the 10th point that is a c raw canon has uh, come up with a new raw format that is known as c raw uh, as we all know that raw format uh, if we record pictures in raw format raw format has a great latitude so we can <coughs> adjust different aspects of the photo uh, in the raw format after or during post processing so uh, in this c raw what does that mean c raw means that this is somewhat compressed so it will not take a large amount of space in your camera uh, memory card or in the laptop or anywhere you are storing your files image files so it will not take a large amount of space it is somewhat compressed but it will have the all the features of raw format so this is a very welcome feature from canon i thank canon for coming with this c raw format uh, these are the unique features i think that can differentiate this us cam m50 camera from other mirrorless one and these features i think will influence to a great extent to the consumers for buying this uh, little tiny beginner's camera and that will be very user friendly so by seeing this uh, i am ending my video in future i will come up with different uh, other aspects of the us m50 camera like uh, still photo feature how to uh, shoot uh, still pictures or other pictures and whether this is a good <coughs> travel camera then i will discuss in future videos that's all for now thank you